everyone. Today is my pleasure to give the introduction of animal behavior sampling to you because it is one of important matters to have you discover the, the interaction between the animals and their environment. When you spend time to observe an animal, you can see many kinds of behavior occur daily. From your materials, you know that theoretically the behavior of all animals had a close relationship with ecology and involution. Recall that what you have read from my selected documents in my handout about the theory of inclusive finish. Here you can see several environmental constraints which force an animal to balance between its needs and its effort and energy spent for the needs. For example, a mouse is afraid of predators but it must eat and have to balance foraging activity and safety. Its favorite food is far from its current location and it will be easy consumed to take the food. So time spent for traveling and feeding need to be balanced too. Now we might partly understand the meanings of some behavior. However, which behavior is really dominant and how to describe the animal behavior in a quantitative approach. Man 1974 proposed several methods of handling behavior based on their frequencies in which the calculation methods then was developed by Word et al. 2014. In other words, the balance of the needs and ecological constraints presented by behavior is cut by calculate the time span for each kind of behavior. The methods proposed by Anman 1974 has been further researched to figure out the strengths and weakness of each in terms of calculation process as the case study was conducted by Worth et al. 1914. Here I recommend that you should practice using scan sampling method to collect behavioral data because of its wide range utility. You all have time at home to read the handout and have an overview of animal sampling, especially scan sampling. Now please use your ethogram to observe and record the behavior of the animals in the video at the link on the screen. The time of the video is limited at 8 minutes and a half, so I recommend that you should use an interval of 5 seconds, 10 seconds or 20 seconds to obtain enough data for analysis. Data should be input to a statistical software in computer and the initial output should be an activity budget of the animals. The further analysis will be introdu introduced in the next lesson. After that, your group should compare your reason to other groups one. It is sure that they are different from each other. How can you explain the difference? It says that you can find the answer by checking your ethogram, your sampling intervals and how many students of your group participate in the ob observation. Thank you for your attention and good luck.